Hello, welcome back to the Spiders Web, and in this video we're going to be having a look at the uh, minis that I did for, or minis I did, the minis that come with the uh, Crisis Protocol um, core set. What the word then? Um, now I've primed most of these in white for the simple reason is I want bright colours on them. I don't want them to be dull at all. So I've done them all in white so they can be a little bit brighter um, rather than grey. There is a difference though because I didn't do all of them in black in white. I did some in black which is going to be good against the black background but we'll see what we can do. Have I got anything of a different colour? I've just realised that yes I have. Okay I can do I can I can do something I think Yes, but let's have a look first of all. So we'll start off with the black things f f first, and the black things are the range markers. Now I don't know whether, in fact I'm going to put the lights on, I don't know whether you'll be able to see them or not, so whether there's going to be, yeah there's going to be a big enough difference between the background and that. So there we are, I've, I said, I've primed them all in black. I'm going to do some bright colours in the middle here and leave the outside black. That was that's me planning away. So that was the five inch. This is the four inch one. And the three inch one, which just nicely fits onto the uh, viewfinder. And then the two inch one. And then we have the small. If you're going to paint them or if you're going to spray them uh, in fact if you're going to paint them or spray them make sure they're done together um, I've only put these back together to show you in this video um, that they are still movable I've not done anything to compromise the um, movability of these and this is the medium one um, I do need to go back and do a little bit more in the in the middle there although yeah I might be able to do that in um, with the brush actually so there we are and that's the long one so that's on the range markers I'm going to put these back into this bag and then we can get out all the rest of the terrain right so the biggest piece of terrain we have is the Daily Bugle um, news agent stand which is this so this is one of the easiest to put together to be brutally honest um, goes that bit as I recall the only thing a real young it, it that handle came as a separate I think and I think it was this one here, possibly that one at the back, came as a separate, and then you glue that under, that on there, and this bit on there, and that's it. It's all sort of like one moulded piece for the majority of things. The smallest bit on it was that handle, which I did miss taking off the sprue and I was wondering where it was. <laughs> right, the second largest pieces of terrain have got to be the cars. Now these are exactly the same type of car I would imagine. I'm just going to do them in two different colours and as you can see I've not put the taxi sign on any of these so I don't want them as taxis. Um, I probably will put when I get the uh, New York City terrain pieces which has like a, another hut on here for like coffee I think it is, the Daily Grind I think it's called. Um, I'll probably do one of those in uh, probably do one of them as a taxi I've left the underneath blank because I don't need to do the underneath when I say I've left them blank what I'm going to say is I've not primed it right so next biggest are these dumpsters again both exactly the same type of thing oops I've missed a bit of priming underneath that I have to sort that out 
So the underneath of these haven't been primed, so I'm going to have to do underneath there and uh, just double check everything, make sure it's all done. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, nothing too difficult about putting these together. Um, that little bit there and that little bit there on the end glues on um, to the end and into on the end of the um, of this bit and obviously onto the side of them um, and then these two pieces here glue in as well. There's only one way they can go because there's a, a different size peg that they slip into on each side so there we are that's it very very easy to put together the hardest thing I had to put uh, to do to put or the hardest thing I had to put together was this you so say had to carefully cut this um, round circular thing on top and actually cut it out of here as well as you can see I haven't done the, the greatest of jobs cleaning up but this is on the bottom so it doesn't really matter but it does stand up straight so basically I had to cut this round bit out and then this circular bit out and glue this circular bit onto this part on the top of this main structure here and that was it <laughs> yeah it's just a try it's just a bin um, if I had a thing of Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street I'd have had it put up and put Oscar the Grouch in but I didn't yeah well right then we have two um whatchamacallit uh street lamps and these basically from the this point where we nail these upwards is one piece and downwards is it and you basically glued that onto this stand and that's it no big deal on putting them in no big deal at all the slightly trickier ones were these Again, it was this stand thing here, glued onto there, and then this bit came in two different sections. So you had to glue that bit to that bit, and then get it in between there. There's a little bit of a gap there, but I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. Hopefully paint will clear that up. Um, and that's it for those. They were relatively easy. Now we'll get onto the difficult things. Let's get the villain started first. The most straightforward of the villains, let's zoom in, is the red skull. Um, and this will get better if I turn one of the lights off. It does. Won't look any better if I turn them both off. Yeah, it seems to look a little better in the screen, but I'm not going to risk it because. I've done videos before where it looks okay and it's been slightly overexposed and very grainy. So I'm going to do this, I'm keeping one light off. So you can see, so basically, arm fits into arm socket, that arm fits into that arm socket. Um, lower arm fits into there. You can see there where the join is that but basically it slots into there um, and the hand holding the tesseract also gets glued into the and the head gets glued on as well and then they both get glued then the whole lot oh, and then the legs get glued on oh the first step though was gluing the front and the back together these are really tricky to do um, I mentioned I think I mentioned in another video that um, they were numbered on the sprue but they weren't numbered in the instructions so you were looking all the time so when you're doing these just be careful what you're uh, looking at I do have another mini coming so when I get that one I will do um, a video making that one up so you can actually see the kind of trickiness that comes into it so there's that one and then we have Baron Zemo. Okay, so we had the legs were separate parts. They got glued together. The body 
uh, yeah, the body, the front of the body and the back of the body got glued together. The legs glued into the main body. That um, is one piece, so that got glued into there. The elbow pad got glued onto the arm then. Same with that one. But as you can see with this, um, the hand with the sword was a separate piece so the rest of the arm so that got glued onto there and then the elbow pad got glued onto there and then the head got glued on and then this bit of the front of his coat the lapel got glued on and there's nothing missing there I've looked it's just the way it's shaped and then the uh, foot got glued onto the rubble here and then it's all got glued onto the base they are not easy. I'm not going to go through them all like this um, because it's going to take a lot of time on this video. And I don't want to spend a lot of time explaining how I did things. Um, I just want to really show you what's what. And then we have crossbones. Um, so the head was one piece which glued onto the body which was again two pieces. That arm was one piece, that arm was one piece legs were two pieces and the the white face mask or well, the skull design there got glued on uh, the knife got glued on the gun got glued on and that pouch there got glued on and that's it oh and something else i found out as well where have they gone oh don't tell me i've thrown them i thought i kept hold of them um the um Little bits on the sprues that came with the that these bases came on. There's some little knobbly bits. I was wondering what they were. They're like um, glitter. Like it's a broken. There's a bottle, um, a crushed can. Of, you know, crushed drinks can, and I think there's a cup as well, or a pint glass or something like that. Um, so the that's what they were. Anyway, that's crossbones. And then we had this fella right now the main body consists of front and back of the body and I believe the legs legs in the main body were one piece the ankles and the feet got glued on to the mid there the arms got glued on the head got glued on and these got glued on and I think two of these were actually in two separate pieces the two um, long ones I think or was it that one no it's that one and that one were in two separate pieces and then these all got glued on as well and in fact these came in two separate pieces so you glued that part on to those two to make the claw. They couldn't have made it any more blooming awkward if they tried. <laughs> but hey, we've got a nice model from that. And finally, the biggest pain in the neck one to put together was this fella, because the head came in two pieces. The, leg, that, the thigh was three pieces. You know, it was just stupid the way this was the way this is I mean I'm not denying this is not that this is an, you know a, a decent character a decent model I'm not denying anything of that but to show how much of a pain in the neck it was I had to buy another one because I lost something off this and after ordering that one a couple of uh, a few hours later I found the piece that I was missing and it was the top piece for his head which was there so it's not as if I could do just that dome part there oops just that dome part there you can see I dropped it on the carpet and the carpet's grey dirt grey carpet and I couldn't find it at all it's a bounced onto something so when I got this one um, I used um, the remnants of what was left in a tube you know the 
kind of uh, post timey cement ones which has the long needle thing um, I was using the remnants of that but I bought myself that and I don't know why I haven't bought one of those a lot sooner because that made gluing this fella so so stress no stress free um, the glue went exactly where I wanted it to there was no drips no smudging or anything it went on a dream so I advise anybody who is getting this game not to try and put anything together without that or something similar it's got your brush applicator in there so every you know where everything's going oh, brilliant right next let us get on with the hero characters let's start off with mr stark himself there we are um so yes there's one of the broken cans that i was telling you about um i don't think i, I didn't put any litter on the for some strange reason i didn't put any litter on the uh super villains but there's one of the broken uh, crushed cans I was telling you about there we are this was a painter put together as well but not as much as Ultron uh, so there's that and then there's Captain Marvel She was a bit of a pain to put together because her arms just didn't want to stick. I think it was more the glue, the remnants of the glue than the actual miniature or the plastic that was causing the problems there. But, oh, it was a pain. And then we'll have Black Widow. Now for some reason they've decided to do another version of the Black Widow and uh, put, him, put her with um, Hawkeye. Now if they're doing Hawkeye I don't understand why they didn't do it as a Hawkeye and Ronin uh, mix because Hawkeye became Ronin, didn't see the martial arts chappy um, in uh, Endgame. And obviously in the comics as well but I don't know why I didn't do that, but nah, never mind. So there is uh, Natasha Romanoff. And now we have Peter Parker. It's funny, I ran out of glue. Not glue, primer. I only did a little bit, so I managed to get everything done. And there's only the superheroes that I couldn't do because I'd run out of primer. So when I went and got some more primer, <laughs> all the way I'm all singing Spider-Man, Spider-Man, I'll be painting a Spider-Man. Um, I've got a little bit of filling here to do and round the red joints. Um, it's not a big problem, as I've got some of that. So that's, that's going to be easy, a doodle to do. So I'm not worried about that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Spider-Man. And uh, going from the movies, there's America's ass. <laughs> it's Captain America himself. There we are. And I put a glass bottle. I put a, the bottle down the the grid. So there we go. So I will be starting painting these very, very soon because I really do want to start playing this game or having a look at playing this game. And uh, yes, I think it's worthwhile having a game. So there we are. That is all the minis that I have to date. As I said, I do have one coming that hopefully is going to be here over the next couple of days. Um, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, you'll have to wait. But these are all the minis, you know, only 
the superheroes, supervillains, whatever. Uh, they're all here. Unfortunately, I can't get them all on camera. Can I zoom out a little bit? I can. So I can zoom out a little bit to get them all on camera. So we have Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Black Widow, uh, Captain America, uh, Crossbones, Spider-Man, Doctor Octopus, the Red Skull, Ultron, and Baron Zemo. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, as I say, it's just a look at what I've done so far. Um, I'll be starting painting soon, so join me when I start painting them. Um, and as I say, when I get the next uh, or my first separate purchase, I'm not counting the Ultron one because that was one of the necessities I thought at the time. Um, but <laughs> my first model of choice, shall we say, that I've purchased will be coming, well, will be here within the next few days and uh, I will be doing a video where I actually make the, make the model as well as unbox it. So uh, join me for that one as well. But for now, stay safe and as always, take care, God bless and bye for now.